Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on a super cool modular helmet from Shark. This is the Evo line. You noticed I just went through the initial process of opening the helmet up. There's the drop down screen for us. I'm going to close it up one more time and we'll take it off and then break down the features and the benefits. When you're closing it, you need to drop it down, grab the helmet in the back, give it a little push and you'll hear both sides clip in. And then double check it, shield down. This is a very, very unique modular helmet from Shark. Pretty much everything Shark does is unique. Let's go ahead and peel this off and take the coat off and we'll get started. The, the focus for Shark with helmets is safety. I'm not saying that the other companies out there, you know, don't have the best of intentions when it comes to, to producing a safe helmet. I'm sure that everyone does, right? But for Shark, that's really where the whole process begins, is safety. And that is something that makes them a bit unique. Now, this Evo line product, you notice it does a lot of different things, okay? And let's show you the actuation while I have the helmet off my head. The visor for the helmet has a center pull. So what you do to raise the visor, simply pull. You probably heard the multiple detents on the way up and the final detent there. To pull the chin bar up, there is this red button or tab here. Pull forward, it disengages the latch on both sides, lock it in the back, it stays right there. To actuate the drop down screen, there's a tab right here on the top. From back to front to drop it down and from front to back to pull it up. Ventilation. We have a vent here on top of the helmet. It's got kind of a scoop built into it to help direct the air down to the vent. That serves a dual purpose because when you have your gloves on it makes it easy to feel that and put it into the position you'd like it to be in. Let's put the chin bar back down and once again, like I'd shown you before, simply dropping it down does not lock into place. You need to give it a push like that to get it to lock in. You'll hear it lock and then of course always double check it. Your chin vent, same concept as the vent on the top. It has a big tab on it. You can feel it with your gloves on and actuate it that way. The shell of this is a uh, composite resin, a thermoplastic resin. Um, it uses the interior that the other shark helmets do with the EPS that is essentially channeled out and has their shark fin absorbers. We're going to show you that here in a minute as we pull the liner out. The visors are anti-scratch and anti-fog. Okay? The no-fog feature is nice. Shark has done a good job with that and it works quite well. The weight of this helmet is 4.2 pounds. We've actually been looking at some modular helmets as of late and that seems to be basically in the ballpark. I will say that it's pretty balanced 4.2 pounds. A quick note on sizing, we feel the helmet runs a little bit bigger than marked. Um, myself and one of my other staffers were pretty much spot on mediums. I measure 58 centimeters on the money. I need to wear a small on this to get a proper fit. Something else that I've noted is that this helmet really likes to kind of instinctively when you get a helmet on, for me, I, I kind of like to tip it to the back. This helmet, you really, when you get it on your head, it, it really wants to be tipped to the front. Part of the reason for that is the internal shell shape, and another part is the shape of the, and, and the depth, if you will, of this internal drop-down screen. In order to get the screen so that it's really covering your eyes, the helmet needs to be rocked forward. Once I did that, that covered the line of sight for me quite well, and it also felt more comfortable. So that's just something that I noticed when I put the helmet on and you know certainly when you try it on we all have different shape heads just, just kind of get a feel for that yourself. This helmet is DOT and ECE 2205 certified in both the full face position as well as the open face position and that is a unique feature. When this helmet was first released it was the only one and it may still be the only one that qualifies for the ECE certification in both the open 
and closed-faced position. The representative from Shark, when we first met before this helmet was released, they were claiming that in the closed face position, this helmet would be safe enough to race in MotoGP. Okay, let's take a look at the interior of the helmet now, if we could. Nice and plush. Shark is, they use top shelf materials in here. Feels great against the skin. I would note the shell shape of this. Intermediate oval to a little round. Okay. Like I said, for me, it, it ran a little bit smaller. This is a small, I'm typically a medium. In the RSR2, I wear a medium. Um, in an Arai Corsair V, I wear a medium. Scorpion 700-400, I wear a medium. But in this one, I had to wear a small. To remove the liner, it's pretty simple. We have some snaps here on the cheek pads. And a little Velcro here, up at the top. Pull it through like that. Comes right out. Put that off to the side, repeat the same thing on the other sides as you would expect, simply a mirror image. Now for the top head, and this will help us get a look at the shark fin EPS, we have two snaps at the back and then up at the front of the helmet here, we have essentially one long tab that slides into a channel, really easy to do. Nice quality liner, feels comfortable against the head, so you can remove this, wash it, and replace it. And Ryan, let's go ahead and give him a look at the Shark Fin EPS. Tighten up on that if you would. And you can see what they do is they channel that out, and it, the idea here is crumple zones. Okay? You take an impact in the helmet, each one of these fins can work independent of another and just essentially deform right in that area and work to protect your head. We feel Shark certainly makes one of the highest quality and safest products on the market. We encourage you to look at all the information we have on the site about Shark and their efforts when they're working with, uh, with, with Caesar. It's an outfit that studies head trauma. It's a pretty unique company. We think the Evo line uh, modular helmet is certainly a very unique helmet. Um, have not ridden this. The ventilation looks to be pretty decent. Uh, you know, we've got a chin vent, and then we, of course, have a top vent. For added ventilation, this is what's probably one of the biggest benefits of a modular. When you need more ventilation, all you have to do is open the helmet up and you're going to get a ton of airflow coming inside. So there you have it. I think I've covered all the key points um, on the Shark Evo line modular helmet from SportBikeTrackGear.com.